Good morning. This is the Power of Prayer. Power of Prayer airs every Tuesday morning at 8.30 a.m. Every Thursday morning at 6.30 a.m. Okay? Again, that's every Tuesday morning at 8.30 a.m. Every Thursday morning at 6.30 a.m. All right. Well, get your coffee, get your biscuits. We got a word for today. My, 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 my. I've had so much distraction this morning, but I know it got to be a good word from God. I count it all joy. I was telling the, uh, the enemy the other day, this joy I got, the world didn't give it to me, and the world can't take it away. My, 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 my. So get your coffee, get your biscuits, mother, father, get your children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, and bring them around the set. God got something for everybody this morning. Everybody. God has got something for us this morning. My, 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 my. I don't come before you any kind of way. I saw God. How to, and he'll change your message in a heartbeat. I have a message already planned. He'll change it in a heartbeat. Why? Because he know. He the only one know what his people need. We don't know what God's people need. We think we know what they need. But we don't know what they need. We don't even know what we need. Without God, we can do nothing. Okay? Get your Bibles. Get your coffee and your biscuits, as I said, and let's get in the word. My, 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 my. Before I come to you this morning, I just want to tell you, my beloved, that this morning I was looking at Arma Jean Pastor, excuse me, Pastor Arma Jean Robinson. I was looking at her on this same station, KMCT, and I tell you she lit up my, my den while I was sitting there. I mean, the power of God was coming through that TV. I said, wow. I was trying to go to TVN, but I heard the Holy Ghost say, you need to hear this. And my, 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 she was talking about forgiveness. How you know when you done did somebody wrong? Don't nobody have to tell you, my beloved. When you done wronged somebody, you the first one to know it. Because if you a child of God, there's something in you let you know. You need to go back and get it right and repent. And we got to go to God and repent, but we got to go to that person and get it right. And boy, she tore it up. And I could hear her husband, uh, Pastor Roberts, in the back saying, telling her, talking to her, telling her, work with it, work with it. And my God, she was working with that. She came out of Psalms. She came out of different ones, but she was talking about forgiveness. My beloved, we got to leave our gifts at the altar. You're tired, I don't care what it is, and go back and, and get it right with our brothers and sisters and come back so God can really and truly bless us. That really did bless me, it re and you got to repent. And she just, my, and I, I could not say, oh, I would love for my friends, some of my friends and my children and some people that, you know, in my little circle, I would love to hear that. And I didn't see a number on her show, you know, sometimes be, no, I didn't see a number, but I took my cell phone and took a picture of her. So I, when I send it to my friends, I can tell them, look, you know, we on YouTube and website. I can tell them, look through it till you see this picture, and you need to hear what this, this pastor got to say. She was talking about forgiveness, um, uh, Pastor Irma Robinson, and it was good. I could, she glued me, and it's hard for me to get glued, but I was glued. I was eating every word. I was taking that word like I was taking my medicine. I was taking that word. I was just taking it and eating it like I was eating food because it was sure enough good this morning. I didn't mean to go that way, but it just, it just blessed my soul. So we have to say when people bless us. We, I'm, I'm not jealous. I, I mean, it was good. It was so good till I just, I just laid back, and I just ate and drank from the fountain. So I'm already full, and I'm already geared up, because I've already had mine if I don't get no more. So get your Bible. Turn to, uh, bah, 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 turn to James uh, chapter 2 and verse 5, and just rest there. I'm coming. But you know, my beloved, forgiveness is good, but I got a message for you this morning straight out of James, talking about love. Love and forgiveness go together. So that's when I was listening to that Pastor Armagene Robinson. I know, I know God wanted me to hear that. Because and when she was tearing it up and, and putting it out there, it was so good and was so plain till a blind man couldn't miss it. But, and I said, God, what is the, what, you going to change my subject? Well, I didn't know what was going on, but the Holy Ghost always know. And it was teach on love today. So go to James 2 and 5. And, and you know, we have to love, my beloved. 
let me elaborate on love. We, we, I'm talking about God beloved. Their love, as my grandmama said, they run from heart to heart and from breast to breast. I'm talking about real genuine love. We got to love each other. And when we love each other, we don't have to talk. And my beloved, when we love each other, it will show. We ain't got to say a word. It will show. He said, love your neighbors as yourself. Who is you know, whoever in need? We got to show. And days and times are like this. And I'm not coming to you with the corona, with the uh, COVID-19 and all of that. I'm not coming with that because that's going to take care of itself. But somebody was, we was talking about revival. And I told them, if you don't receive revival now, you never will see it. You know, we look for revival to come this way and somebody come there. But when it got up on us, it was up on us. And we ain't know about no prophet. He reveals his secrets to the prophets. I ain't heard a prophet or nobody came out and said, y'all be watchful. Next three or four months, something coming up on us, nobody's nothing. But I'm telling you, sometimes God hide things. But I tell you what, I didn't say he did it, but he allowed it. And I tell you, if a revival ain't going on, how you say and Why you say a revival going on, Evangel? You ought to see my phone calls and my prayer list. And I don't call names on this show. I just don't do that. But my, I tell you, it's some fear on this land. My God, if we don't get out here with this wood and we don't walk through these streets with these masses and hand sanitize, whatever, and tell these people you don't have to fear when you got God. He, he, you, fear is faith. I say upside down. Now, that's my definition for it. But my beloved, it would eat you up. Well, how you know? Because I ain't always been saved. I ain't always been in Christ. I ain't always loved the Lord. Like, I, I've been out there too. And I tell you, every time something came up, I got so scared that I'm, you can get so scared you'll run off. I'm telling you, well, I don't live it. You'll run out that house and leave your wig, glasses, teeth, and mo everything. That devil will bring some fear upon you. You'll run off and leave everything. So don't tell me that you that. Maybe you haven't fear, but don't tell me you can't. Only way you want, you got to pray. My beloved, you got to pray without ceasing. Because I tell you, it's just, it's up on us. It was up on us for we know. I don't know much about it. I don't know too much of nothing about it. My, I'm telling you, I can't. Well, what you see, I see all liars going to have their part in the lake of power. I'm not adding and I'm not taking away. I'm telling you, I didn't see nothing coming when I knew the thing was up on us. It was up on me, us like it was everybody else. But my beloved, there's a, a God who cares. I know what I'm talking about. There's a God who cares. And all we got to do is be sincere. All we got to do is call on him in the wee wee hours of the night, in the early hours of the morning, all through the day, just in your spirit, had a prayer for your turning. I, my beloved, he'll come to see about us. I know what I'm talking about. Yes, he will. He will come to see about us. And we got to show each other love. He's in a time now, a time now where it's a shortage in food. It's a shortage in this and shortage in that. Like I said, I do not call names. But it's so much need and lack here in Monroe. I'm just talking about here in Washington Parish. And, you know, a few weeks ago, maybe a month now, I, time going so fast, I, I did a contribution at the Salvation Army. And somebody was telling me, but, you know, I don't mean no harm, but I want to ask you something. I said, okay. You, what you do in secret, I saw you on, on the news and stuff, but you God wrote, I said, okay, what you do in secret, he did say he'll reward you openly. But sometimes somebody need to know. I said, we wouldn't have known nothing about that, that fish, them five, five little fish and them few body loads if it hadn't have been in the Word. And yeah, he could have did it in secret, we'd have never known nothing about it. See, when you step to me, you better be packing something. We never would have known with the woman with the alabaster box that pulled the oil over him just before his bearer. He said, this will be known everywhere the gospel is preached. Good God Almighty. He, he could have said, well, don't say nothing. Let her do it in the secret. Let me tell you one thing. You can read that word and pick out what you want and pick out. The, but when you're packing something in your belly, when you're packing that anointing, God ain't going to let me be up all night long and let you walk up on me with your little gigs. No, 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 no. See, it's time out for all that. Yes, what you do in secret. Yes, my beloved. If you ask me, and I give to you, look, I'm a, I need a bill pay. Okay, well, I got the $400. I'll let you have it. That, okay, that's one thing. But when people, people need to see, let me tell you, I have a nonprofit organization. I don't know why I'm going this way, because it's not my mission, but I'm being led by the Holy Ghost, okay? So this is my show. This is my time now, and I'm being led by the Holy Ghost. I know years ago, 22 years ago, matter of fact, I would see people, the Red Cross, I would see the Salvation Army, and I was looking at them, and I said, Lord, all these people is helping people. And you know, if I just had, he said, if you give me a cup of water in the name of a prophet, you get a prophet's reward. Come on now. And I said, ain't nothing we, I, I, I can do something. And I had a house full of little children and everything. They wasn't grown, some of them was in high school, but they wasn't, wasn't grown. And I said, something looked like I can do. If it was, it wasn't but one grown. 
But I said, something I can do. And I, I had saw a sign when I was living in Vegas. When I first became a nurse, I went to Vegas, saying Triple PT, PPPT, poor people pulling together. And that never left me. And I don't know why it never left me. And so I said, I'm going to get an organization, and I'm going to help and do what I can. And I went down Dr. Uh, uh, Katie, you call her, we call her Katie Honeycutt, but it's Dr. Katie Duke now, and Pastor Mona Mitchell. And we got together. We said, we're going to, and we, we said, okay, we all agree. The, and I think the first of the second and third semester I went to was Bishop McFarland. And he told me, I stand with y'all if y'all don't quit, because there's going to be some rough roads out here. See, that's what you need. And, and I had a daughter, I think. Uh, I have a daughter by his age. And she was saying, about it's a funeral home on the end. And that seemed to be a nice young man. You can, and, I, and he told us, put us on the right road. And I, I give a shout out to him right now. Because I'm telling you, people say, sometimes you need encouragement. And we started out with just this and that. And sometimes I would just get clothes. And, and, and people would get donate me a few clothes. I put them on my car. I, start, I had to start somewhere. But oh, look at us today. Look at us today. Got, to, got our 5013 what close to 20 years ago and just went and God just touched it. But had not I got out there and be seen and heard, my beloved, we don't understand it all. I don't understand it all. And I'm not, this show is not me this morning. But I'm telling you, you got to start where you at. If it ain't nothing but going and taking a person a plate of food. If it ain't nothing but go and check on your older neighbor. And, uh, ma'am, sir, I come to check on you. I didn't see you outside watering the plants. I didn't see you sitting outside. Just something. It's time now for us to stop talking love and show love. Because nobody, you looking at this show, you see me the glory, but you don't know the story. You don't know where I came from. I'm telling you, no salt, no pepper, no nothing in my house. And a house full of little children. No nothing. I remember one day my kids was outside playing. We was on Jack McHenry down in the corner. And they said, and I, we didn't have no salt, pepper, sugar, nothing. I said, nothing. And they were just out there playing ball, my little children were. And so I was just sitting there. And every now and then they look back and say, Mama, you going in the house and cook? I said, yeah, baby. Mama going and cook after a while, knowing I didn't have nothing to cook. Didn't, didn't have nothing, salt, no nothing. Yeah, baby, Mama going in the house to cook. Well, I sat there, and the sun was going down. I fell back in that chair, and I started talking to mine, your God. I started talking to him. Now, Lord, you see. I know you see, and I know you know, and I know you know me. And I just started talking to him. He said, go down the street to that store and tell him you need some food. I said, nah, okay. So I got up, and I told the kids, I said, I'm going out here and get y'all some food and something to cook. And they were petting their little, okay, mama, okay. I went down there, and on my way down there, that devil started talking to me. You going to ask that man, you going to, that devil is real. We fighting a real demon, y'all. He started talking to me. I took out and went to running. And when I got there, I fell up on the counter. He said, ma'am, 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 what's wrong? Somebody after you? I said, no, sir. I caught my breath. I said, I was praying. My kids don't have no food. And the Lord told me to come ask you to give me some food for my little children. He said, ma'am, I don't mean no harm, and I believe what you're saying, but I have made a creed, and that is, a, such as a decoration of vow, or however you call it. He said, I don't even credit my own mother, and she closer to me as any human in the world, and I don't credit her, and I'm so sorry to tell you, but I don't credit I said, okay, I was led by God, and God told me to come at you, and I understand if you don't do it. It's no problem, and I turned to leave. He said, wait a minute. And I looked back, and that booger was banging up, charging like a brummer bull. Face was blood red. God broke him down. And he said, I don't know why I'm doing this, but get what you want. Just get what you want. And I looked like he was still charging. And I tell you, if God said it, if some folks, God said it, I believe it. That, no, if God said it, whether you believe it or not, that sells it. When I got in my bag and sat on the counter, I don't know. I don't like to exaggerate because God don't get no glory out of exaggeration. And I don't know whether I told him I pay him when I get my get uh, pay or whatever. But I said to him, he said, no, 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 no. I never did this before. Just take it. He's because I don't, I don't understand this. I never did before. I went home, fixed food for my little kids. They ate and everything, got through eating. We was just all so merry. Said, came out on the outside on the porch. A lady came around the corner and said, ma'am, is those your little children? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, I work at the school, and they give me hot dogs and corn dogs. That's left over after so many days, you know, we can't, we can't feed them to the kids. Would you like to have them? She brought boxes of corn dogs. See, that was my overflow. All you got to do, my beloved, I don't care what's up on this, you got to grab hold to God. Hang on to him like a hungry hound hanging over the beach. 
ride him all the way. And I declare he'll come see about you. But you can't operate in fear. You cannot operate in fear. Read my lips. You can't operate in fear, my beloved. Fear is a torment spirit. It will torment you to death. You've got to know that you know that you know God is coming to see about you. You've got to know he's coming to see about us. He said, if my people, which are called by my name, and my beloved, I don't tell you to do like me, but I walk them flows at night. Some nights I be peeing out of the some nights all night now I'm walking the flow. And I ain't telling you to do all that. I know what it takes for me. And that's why that devil come up on me, baby, and you got to be packing something. He'll come in on you now. A few weeks ago, I think I said it on my other show, he come in on me with a Jack Johnson uppercut. I jumped back with a Muhammad Ali. I tell you, I told that booger, I draw the line and say, you better not cross it. I double dare you to cross it. It's time out for us begging up from him because we're dealing with a real devil. And he know who got power. Peter I know. John I know. Paul now, who is you? See, he know. So my beloved, I don't care if it's 10 minutes a day. I don't care if it's 10 minutes. You better take some time out and pray and praise God. You better know what God you serve. Ain't but one true and living God. But it's a lot of little bitty ones out there. It's a lot of them calling themselves, but it's one true and living God. He can hear everybody pray at once and answer them while they're praying. I know what I'm talking about. Just be full of love and compassion. Get full of love. Just get that love bubble over in your mind. My, my, my. I didn't mean to go that far, but evidently it's for somebody. And I want to stop and thank everybody for my donations right now. My, 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 we on YouTube and website, as I just said, and people calling from all over the world. I'm saying, as I said before, why are you, I mean, I don't talk all that adequate. I don't talk, but it's the anointing that break and destroy the yokes. It's the anointing. I had to ask them, wait, look, you on TV, do you get, and I have to show them my phone. They said, I wouldn't believe it if you hadn't showed me. People is hungry and they thirsty and they call it and they know, my beloved, we can talk all day and all night, we can preach, we can sing with them, but it's the anointing that break and destroy the yokes. It's, the, it's your life. You hook your life with this word. You, you, you got the natural, but then let him put the soup on the natural and you, you can go on. Sometimes I know you just like me. Sometimes you have people arguing and fussing and in the store, in the parking lot, and just saying all kind of stuff and using God's name in vain. All you got to do is pray. Don't say nothing to them because it's only going to exhalate. It's only going to get worse. Just pray. And just pray for them. Because that was one day me and you was ignorant. We ain't enough. We ain't been where we at now. We have to have mercy on people. Don't beat the hell out of them. Love the hell out of them. You got to love people now. And you got to pray now. And you got to share and care now more than ever. I be praying sometimes, Lord, who can I bless today? Lord, I don't care. Who can I divide, divide this with? I'm telling you, it's a time now that we got to do all we can for all we can. Let's go to James. My, 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 my. James 2 and 5. James, uh, ba, 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 James 2 and 5, okay? It said, listen, my beloved brother, has God not chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith and halves of the kingdom? which he promised to those who love him. See, if you love him, just love God. And why, how y'all love him? If you love him, my beloved, you'll do what he say. You will obey him. If you love him, you'll obey him. You'll do his, you'll keep his command as much as you can. I ain't gonna say you ain't gonna make your mistake. Cause when I'm teaching, I'm teaching to me too. I ain't made it, but I'm telling you what helped me. I'm telling you, at night sometimes you got to throw your hands up and mama say it and groan with groan that cannot be uttered. You got to call on him out of pure heart. I know what I'm talking about. And he'll answer you while you call me. When I first got this show, the first thing I said is, I can't speak to that Callan Hunt, Pamela Drumgo. I can't. I need to be two that he said, I don't call the equip. I equip to call. Good God Almighty. Use what you got. I don't care how little it is. And who you think, well, don't, they don't want this. It don't matter. You don't know what don't matter. And you don't know what do matter. One day, and, I, and I'm just breaking in here because I'm, I'm, I'm full, and I know 30 minutes can't take it all. But I, I know masks. You know, we have to wear the masks, and we have to obey the la laws of the land, and we need to wear them. And, the, and gloves and hand sign, we have to do all that. And I, I got some masks out of Georgia and all of them, and I had said I could take them to the Salvation Army, you know, so they can give them to old people, this and that. And I gave a few friends of mine some or whatever. Sent my daughter some, and I, I just, I said, I just can't wear them. God, they, you know, you know, and my glasses, they were fogged, my glasses up. One day I got quiet, viewers, and I talked to God. I said, God, you got, you know all things. I said, and you, you can do anything. It's nothing too hard for you. 
if you took them fish and that little bread and fed five, over 5,000, you can ain't nothing. Tell me what's too hard for you. It's hard for me hooking these masks. My ears are so tiny. And it's hard for me to hook these masks over my ears. And, and so what, what, just tell me, what can I do? Is it easy to put a hanky around my face or whatever? But it's all just, it's just, you know, and the mask is kind of thick, you know, a little bit. And I said, you know, but I got a wham because, you know, they saying wear the mask. And I would never tell nobody. I, I said, I got to put up with it, but it's so distracting. I said, when I do go out, you know, I stay in as much as possible. And so I got real quiet. And God said, you got a lot of scarves. I said, right. He said, you got a lot of different colors in it. Color? I said, right. He said, take those scarves. And, and it came in my spirit. Put it over your, your head and double it back. And when you double it back, you take the inside of that scarf like this. He said, this, take some slack in it and put it over your face like this. My, 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 who couldn't have told me that but God? I said, wow. He said, when you wear your clothes, try to match them up and everything and just got to keep it because these are thin and you can breathe through them either they don't fall your glasses up. What a mighty God we serve. If God told me that, how to take this scarf and use it as a mask, my beloved, he can do anything. I know what I'm talking about. All we got to do is trust in him and believe in him. That's all we got to do and let him talk. See, we do all the talking a lot of times. Don't let him say nothing. We just are yabby yabby, just talking and talking. But my beloved, when you groan, with groans can't be uttered. I remember a few nights ago, I woke up and just felt like somebody, something was on each side of me. And I just began to... I said, what is this? I'm getting ready to set up in the bed and just pray. And I thought about Psalms 23, those two angels, good and mercy, just on each side of me. Good and but my beloved, we can walk, get so close to God, we can feel his pulse. You can walk so close, but it take, you got to pay a price now. And you got to have trials and trouble. You got to go through something now. But I'm talking, but is you willing? It ain't gonna be easy. Paul said, trials and trouble ain't but getting the things behind you, pressing to the mark. My beloved, you, it's time to get close to God now. Stop looking at all this news. Yeah, I look at the news, and I look at, well, yeah, look at, but stop letting it get in your spirit, and, and, and it brings fear. It brings distraction. It brings, it, it won't it gossip. It just brings, well, hey, did you pick up? No, just listen to it and get with you and cut that TV off and go. I love TVN and, and uh, KMCT, and I ain't just saying it because I'm on it, but I tell you, them the only two gospel stations I get right now, but I stay on that YouTube, all the more four fathers. I tell you, when I get through sometimes, look like I can pick up that ice box in my kitchen. I'd be so full of it. My beloved, you got to feed your spirit something. Why not feed, feed it the gospel? I know what I'm talking about. Let's get back in John, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to 2 and 8. Let's start at 2 and 8. If you really, uh, if you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbors as yourself. Didn't I tell you? You shall love your neighbors as yourself. And if you do that, you do well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and convicted by the law of transgression. For whosoever keep the whole law and stumble in one part, you guilty of it all. My beloved, I don't steal that, right, but you lie. I don't lie, but you commit adultery. I don't commit adultery, but you backbite. See? All unrighteous is sin. My beloved, all unrighteous is sin. You can't pick out some and say, well, I don't do this and she do that. Bro. Just leave it all alone. And when you find yourself, because I'm telling you, we're going we to make mistakes. And when you find yourself, just pray. Just tell God, Lord, I'm sorry, repent. And when you hurt somebody feeling, all you got to do. I remember I was in this particular place. I don't call no name. And this girl just, and, and my son was standing beside me. And this girl, she was written and raised. And the young man was standing there. He told her, said, you need to go home. And she, oh, no, no, she And I said, ma'am, and I said, it's okay, ma'am. You know, you're having a bad day. I understand, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, ma'am, ma'am, but I'm just, oh, and she just, and, and, I, and when I got up to still meet my son. He said, mama, what was wrong with her? I said, she's young. I said, and she probably her first job, she excited. But think about it. She seemed like she was 18 or 19, a mother probably proud of her. And they said, but she's a child. And remember when y'all were young, y'all did stuff too. And I said, you can't let her uh, lose her little job. I said, no, just, just, I said, you'll probably have a better day next time or something. Okay, yes, ma'am. Baby, you got to stop that devil in his tracks. This joy I got, the world didn't give it to me. 
and the world won't take it away. I mean, you just got to bear with people. I bet that was nothing but a child. I bear with that little child. And when I came home, I felt so good. Every test that day looked like it was test after test. But I tell you, sudden facing you, viewers, I passed every one. I passed every one of them. With an A plus, I passed them all. That's why you got to pray for you leave out that door. You got to be prayed up. And you got to tell God to cover you in your blood. The blood still works. You got to plead the blood. My beloved, plead the blood. The blood of Jesus still works. It reaches the highest mountain and it flows through the lowest valley. I know what I'm talking about. Just plead the blood. Because you got some devil standing out here waiting on you. Demons were designed to take me out this morning. But that, them two angels on each side of them, and grace and mercy, good and mercy was right there. To kick it back, to kick it back. I'm not dying till I get old and tired. I'm 70 some years old, but I ain't tired. I'm gonna get tired, and when I get tired, I'm gonna lay my head on my pillow and sleep. How you like that, devil? That's right, because I'm gonna stay with my maker. I'm gonna walk with him. I'm, I'm, I got a long, healthy life. 20, it's a, uh, 23rd Psalm, long, healthy life. 91st Psalm said, long, healthy life would I grant you. And I'm holding on to everything good that God said. Everything good that happened to me, God did it. I don't know how I'm going this way, but my beloved, just, just get what you can out this show, because I'm fired up this morning. I'm telling you, when I looked at uh, Pastor Armand Jean Robinson, when I looked at her t t preaching on forgiveness this morning, I caught on fire, and I needed that. And talking about love and repent. We got to continuous repent. How long? I don't know how long. Forgive how, how, seven times 77. How about that? We got to love and we got to repent. Come on, let's go on down to 2 uh, James, James number 2. Let's go to 11. He who said, do not commit adultery, but also said, do not murder. Now, if you commit, do not commit adultery, but you murder, you still transgress the law. See, it ain't no big eyes and little you, my. My, 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 my. It ain't no big eyes and little you. You got to do what you're supposed to do and eat the whole loaf. You can't eat a little bit, pick out this. Yeah, I ain't going to curse. I ain't going to fight. I ain't going to lie, but I'm going to steal. I do this. I touch her. I, I phone the kid a little bit. That's why it's good to have your own husband. That's right. It's good to have your own wife. That's right. You ain't got to look over your shoulder and be scared and be peeping. Now you, you have your own. Blessed is the man that got his own. My, 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 my. I don't know who that's for, but evidently it's for somebody. Let's, let's go on to, uh, bah, bah, bah. Now let's skip down number 14. What do it profit, my brother, if someone say he has faith and does not have works? Can faith save him if a brother or sister is naked or destitute of daily bread? My, 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 and one of you say to him, depart in peace and be warm and be filled yourself, but you do not give them the things that they need for their body. What does it profit? Does also face itself, does not have works, it's dead. My beloved, we can talk all we want to. We got to get out here and show love and help somebody. God could have, that disease could have swept, swept us all out at the same time, but ain't God good? Ain't he good? And we got to pray for those families that did, the loved ones did leave. We got to pray for the president, the vice president. We got to pray for the whole round world. We got to pray for lost souls to come on in. And we got to be robed up and get out there and show ourselves to people. Do good to be why? I, why are you giving me this? Baby, I just want to bless you. And then you can put Jesus in there. Just go, just look for somebody to bless. Look for somebody to tell about God. Well, 30 minutes is not enough. Coming down to the end of the show, but my beloved, I can talk to not till tomorrow because I'm fired up. As I said, I saw that good show uh, this morning, and I've been fired up ever since. I thank God for Jesus. And my beloved, that's my message. I approve it. And my name is Glory Fountain. Until we meet again on this side, may God richly be with, be with you on this side. And I'm going to leave you right now, but I'm going to leave you in the hands of the Lord because my hands can't hold you, okay?